for the integration purpose to integrate our login in your uh, Angular application. Uh, everybody is uh, used a cross origin in your backend. Yes, okay. Everybody is no because the cross origin without cross origin, uh, your front end is not be connected to your backend. So you have to mention that cross origin at your controller. So everybody apply that cross origin on your controller. Controller class, correct? Okay. Now, for that integration purpose, we first create a service here. So we can create a service, for example, NGGS or HTTP. We create that service. <coughs> You can just uh, for that again. I have to import one module. We use HTTP client module. So it just import that HTTP client module. Okay, that HTTP client module is present in which package? Yes. Tell me on which package it is present. Rectangular common slash okay. common correct. Okay. This angular slash common packages. HTTP. Common, why it is look like okay? It looks like that package is off, offline package. Okay, let's see if there any error, then we can see that. Okay, now uh, we can uh, import that its services in our. Custom service, whatever the custom service is created, HTTP service, we can create a dependency injection here. So we can use a private HTTP colon your HTTP client. Okay. That imported in your at that angular slash common. Now we create a, the method that is our business logic. We can create here login. The method name is login. Uh, for the login, we can pass a uh, obj of type any because i have to send a json object to your backend uh, whatever the email id and password is there so we use obj and then we can use uh, this dot http for that we use a post method okay so and it takes a first argument is a url okay so first i have to create that url so we can just create url mm -hmm. we can mention that private base URL okay, of type string. So you can mention that our URL, I just mentioned that HTTP colon forward slash localhost. Right now I am using localhost, so colon h rate zero. Otherwise, uh, you can use a uh, API and forward slash. This is my base URL, okay? I'm never mention any particular APN. I just use my base URL. According to that base URL, uh, I just mention here or modify my URL and mention a particular APN. So for that, we use a backtick operator. <coughs> dollar curly bracket, we use a this dot base URL. Then after that, we can mention our APN name. So we can just copy our APN name on your uh, controller, you just copy that. So the API name is the login. Okay, so I can use that login. Here mentioned with that login. Next, our uh, next parameter is our to send object. Whatever the object we have to send, we can mention that object again. That uh, post method returns a uh, observable, so we have to. A return observable and you can just call that method in our component file fine next uh, i just 
uh, I will start my backend server first because right now I'm not to start that server. I just start my Spring Boot server. It is started. Okay, you are, uh, my server is start now. Uh, in login component, okay, first I have to create a JSON object here. Then and then we can pass the JSON object to our service. Okay, so first uh, we can create here say, our JSON object, let obj equal to in the curly bracket. We can mention your key. You have to mention your key as your entity class. Okay, in entity class, what is your key name? So always use that key. I have to pass an email so I can use a email here that is uh, we mentioned in our entity class. Always use this key. Otherwise, uh, whatever the data you're sending, it will not be received your backend. It will not understand. It will use the error. Uh, does not appropriate JSON object. Okay. So mention always a key. Then we can send a data. F dot value dot your uh, name. I just check out uh, what is the name of that name attribute I mentioned there. Uh, name is mentioned itself. Name. Then next key is our password. I just copy that key name. That is a password. Always copy this. Which, uh, there is no any spelling mistake. Because I'm very uh, create. I have a bit that <laughs> most of the time spelling mistakes happen from my side. So I just uh, prefer to use a tool, control C, control D, password, f dot value dot. I just use a name, that is a password. You can use the password as well. Now here we create the JSON object. I want to send the JSON object to your backend server. So for that, uh, we have to create the dependency injection of our service. So we just, we can create the dependency injection in our login component, add a constructor level, we can create a private service colon HTTP service. Okay, we can use quick fix and import that services, and we can just use here that service. So this dot <coughs> service dot login method. With that login method, we can pass to your OBJ. Okay, now that login method returns observable, so we can use a subscribe method, and just we check out what exactly give the response. Okay, we can reduce the response and just we can consult that response. After that, we can uh, uh, we can perform some logic here. So just consult that log and check out whether what response we're getting. Okay. Now let's check where my backend is started. Now okay. Refresh that things. Uh, just open that console, browser console. Okay. Now we Click on login button. Okay. It gives an error. What the error is there? See here. Error. Failure response localhost. Edge router API. Login. Spelling mistake. See here. Localhost. L is missing. That's why it gives an error. See. I already told. I have committed a lot of spelling mistake. So localhost colon edge red zero slash API. Again, you can check out that things. Okay, now login. See here, now response is there. If user is valid, it gives message as a valid user and it gives a response as well. The valid response, it will be given. What is the user data it will be getting here? All the user data. If I'm mentioning any other uh, username, for example, I just mentioned here Sumit1, that Sumit1 is not be valid user. When you just send a request, it gives invalid user and user is a null. Obviously, because uh, that user is not be present, that uh, user will be null. Okay, now our uh, integration is working properly. Clear?